So we're charging at 37 kilowatts. Yes, I've got plenty of charge, but I wanted to stop here to use my Instavolt uh, RFID for the first time and get my count uh, working correctly. But I was wondering with all these petrol shortages and the mayhem that's out there, whether all of the junctions to get into um, this Instavolt charger, it's all out of petrol stations. So I was wondering whether we'd have any problems getting in. Luckily, no, no problems whatsoever, which Good news, A47 Necton. They have fuel, they have petrol and diesel if you need some. No silly people queuing on the A47 blocking the road and we could get in to use the chargers, so wonderful news. But we took the back roads and drove through a place called Watton and there was a little Merco garage, you know, a really, really small garage. And there were at least 30 cars queuing there to get petrol in the morning at nine o'clock. And probably the reason for that is when you go further down the road to it was either a BP or a Shell, they had none. They were closed. All their pumps were dry. So is there a shortage of petrol? Yes, there is, because all these stupid drivers have been going out and filling up when they don't really need it. I saw one in the newspaper um, yesterday where they interviewed um, an elderly lady to say, do you need the petrol? What are you doing here? And she said, I saw everyone else queuing, so I thought I'd better get some. And she probably only does a couple of miles a day. I mean, it's just ridiculous how the media are hyping up mayhem and terror and cues and whatever and it's causing it's causing this it's causing more people um, to queue for petrol than you would normally have do you think it's a ploy by the oil companies that um, they want a nice big surge and they can put the prices up because yeah I have seen some of the garages prices have gone up and I bet they don't come down very quickly either anyway let's have a let's have a look around I'm really pleased to see that there there isn't a queue. No, less less than a dozen cars um, getting petrol and diesel, and half a dozen going out. So, thank goodness on the main route, not a problem at all. Anyway, what are we doing today? Give you a better view of the mini charging today we're on to banbury this is the um trip that we were planning with a better route planner the other day but of course i'm not using a better route planner today um, that was all the planning done my plan is to top up here so just stopping for a short break here we already had 70 75 percent something like that, 74 percent something like that and just want to stop for five or ten minutes stretch my leg let the dog have a wee and uh, top back up add a few kilowatt hours and get that rfid working correctly then we're heading off to our um, destination over in peterborough um, hopefully my daughter will let us plug into her house and we'll be getting two kilowatts for a couple of hours there as well and that will be more than enough energy to get all the way across to banbury we don't need to charge on the way down at all but in my mind I know where all the charges are. I've done all the planning and I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, um, shock horror. Um, I'll give you a little bit of an update. My poor little mini here has been put up for sale. I advertised it um, last week through Motorway and it went up for auction and the auction concluded and it sold. But it didn't meet the price that I was happy with um because the price was two thousand less than i saw a couple of weeks ago so of course i didn't accept that offer and uh the sale didn't go through but the price coincidentally one week later has gone back up two thousand three hundred pounds um used car prices have gone ridiculously high so it's back up for sale again and if it reaches the reserve this time it's going to go the mini will be sold because basically it's such a good price and i'm going to swap and change the car a couple of times so if the price is right then the timing's right and then i'll look for the next car but i do love this car more than uh, any other i've owned for a heck of a long time if not ever um yes it's not as big a battery yes it's a compromise on range yes it's a compromise on space inside all of those things are very very true but it drives really well and I love the interior and it's fun and it brings a smile. So those things to me are more important. So anyway, we'll see what happens with the auction and whether it sells for the right price or not. But then we'll have to consider what am I going to go for? What am I going to get instead of this mini electric? 
So I don't think there's much to update you on the route because it should be really, really simple. Um, it's about 160 miles to get there, so it should be comfortable in the Mini. A good time to sell, but I'll be sad to see your Mini go. I, I really well. Can you believe I've only just put these lovely wheels on? I only just put these wheels on, um, but I don't mind. I enjoyed the process of actually adding them. Sorry, I was just looking across. There are um, a lot of cars <laughs> driving really, really slowly. Anyway, um, used car prices again. Um, when I saw how much mine was worth, I put uh, Susan's in We Buy Any Car just to see what that was worth as well. Hers is a four-year-old mini petrol automatic, and we paid 14 somewhere between 14 and a half and 14 nine I can't remember exactly what it was but we paid for a dealer price it was a high price at the time because it's a really good specification and uh, I looked on webuyanycar.com which is not the best price for selling and it was 14 one and we've had that car a um, couple of years now so a couple of years and it's lost less than a thousand pounds incredible but Susan won't be selling hers she absolutely loves her car so she's not ready to sell that yet which is a bit of a shame because I would rather keep sorry i'd rather keep this one and sell hers and get a second ev but uh, i'm not allowed to do that just yet anyway uh, i thought i'd do another live video um, like i did before on our road trip and just update you along the way so i can see that we've been live now for seven minutes so that's enough i think i'll unplug and off we go thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this short update and uh, catch you again soon bye for now